Poso Maoni Weak, Chris Caldwell in the Weeswan, Awasa in the Toatam away, Kasitna and Nitski Awakian, uh, Okimao at the College of Menominee Nation. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Chris Caldwell. I'm Bear Clan. I live in Kashina and I currently serve as president at the College of Menominee Nation. Uh, I just wanted to send this message welcoming all of you, our CMN students, to the fall 2022 semester. I hope things have gone well for you during this first week. I know there's always a few bumps in the road as we get started and new schedules are worked out, but all you have to do is um, reach out, ask faculty members or staff for help in whatever you're trying to figure out. Uh, that's what we're here for. It does my heart good to see all of you walking our campuses here on the Kashina campus and also down in our Green Bay Oneida campus. Um, we have students from many tribal nations and friends and allies from surrounding communities who have come to learn with us at Menominee. I appreciate the many worldviews, perspectives, and experiences of our student population because it brings a lot of value, not only to each other, your fellow students, but to our institution as a whole. Um, together, we are stronger. From time to time through the semester and ac academic year, I'll check in with you on these videos, um, but we also have events planned where we can meet face to face, um, share a meal, share a discussion, and, and just gives me a chance to learn more about your stories and so that helps me in the work that I do in this office. Um, so as I close this out, I just want to share a few reminders that my staff has asked me to highlight for you. And this is always n number one on the list. Uh, check your emails regularly. Uh, the email is our official way of communicating with our students. And in those emails, you can find out all kinds of things about your classes from your instructor, um, maybe different community and student events, uh, campus events that you might be interested in. Um, these messages, these videos, uh, scholarships, internship opportunities, and even when food is available on campus. So uh, those important things. So please check your emails regularly. Use it to communicate with your uh, faculty members and any staff that you might be working with. Uh, week one is always the, the five-day add drop week. That means if you didn't show up for a class this week, um, we put you on a, a list to be dropped from the class. Now, if something came up and, and you still want to be in the class and you just missed it this week, reach out to your faculty member as soon as possible and let them know that you still want to be in the class. Um, another reminder, we have our farmer's market every Friday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. all the way through the first week of October. So you have a chance to stop in, uh, pick up some produce, uh, meet different folks, uh, meet friends, get some food. We have vendors, um, learn about educational aspects of aquaculture sustainable agriculture or whatever we're doing here at the college um, and and just have fun and, and experience the the college and the campus this is at the Kashina campus uh, the last update I wanted to share was the creation of our new indigenous wellness center this was an initiative we started last year as we considered the needs of our students and we were fortunate enough to have Beth Waukeshaan start as the director of the center this past June. Um, so with that, the focus that she has and the center will have for the college is to promote indigenous wellness practices at the college, support students with mental health resources, spiritual resources, physical well-being and emotional support options, and also provide training and workshops on wellness topics. Uh, she's still developing these activities and calendars of events. So watch your emails for a calendar that will come out. But some of the things we have coming up next week in August through September include mindfulness training, uh, pride nutrition on campus for a day, and other local folks who come in and 
um, share their knowledge, their indigenous knowledge of making um, different uh, foods or uh, medicinals or things like that, that that can help promote well-being in our students, but also faculty and staff. So we're all in this together and in closing, Pamatna Sakun, take care of yourselves. Mano Pamatna Sanan Yope, have a good day today. Yep.